Imagine a room with 72 randomly chosen individuals, the probability that at least two of these individuals having the same birthday is 99.9%. .9%. Let me show you the maths behind it. Now to figure out the maths behind this, it's actually much easier to not focus on the probability of at least two individuals having the same birthday. Instead, we find the probability of none of these randomers having the same birthday. So I'm gonna randomly pick a you from this conference room, this guy. If I choose him, what's the probability that he does not share a birthday with anyone else? Well, he's on his own, right? So we can choose any 365 days out of 365 days. Basically the probability is one. He does not share any birthdays with anyone else. He's the first guy that we picked. Now we're gonna randomly choose someone else. I'm gonna pick this you. What's the probability that this you over here does not share the same birthday as this you? Well, there's one less birthday to choose from. There was 365 to choose from. Now there is one less. I think it was this guy. 364 out of 365 days. And basically, we're gonna have to do this whole process. This guy, 36, one less day of sharing the same birthday. We're gonna have to do this process with all 72 people. Imagine I have completed that. I'm not gonna write this down. But we are now choosing random individuals consecutively. When it comes to probability, these are consecutive events. We multiply these probabilities together 72 times and we will end up with a probability which I need to calculate. <laughs> when you do that multiplication, you end up with 0 0.0090689409 percent, which I computed on my lovely Android phone. Apple calculators cannot handle this. So not the same birthday as this. To calculate the same birthday, we just have to subtract this from <laughs> 100 percent, which ends up being 99.90931, but I like this number better. Percent. Nice. 